let's take a look at how to graph points on a coordinate plane. Graph the point 4, 2 on the coordinate plane. All right, so there's a couple things you wanna keep in mind when you're graphing on a plane. The first is that you have, this is called the x-axis that runs left to right. We call that the x-axis. The axis that goes up and down, we call that the y-axis. And that's important to know because it's related to how you plot your point. When you have your ordered pair, it's in the form x, y. So that means four is the number I would go to on the x-axis, and then two is the number I line up with on the y-axis. Or another way to think about that is that first coordinate or x value tells you how far to go to the right or left, and that second coordinate or y value tells you how far to go up or down. So if you start counting from zero, zero, this means to go four to the right or to four on X, and then two up, or lined up with two on your Y. Okay, so to count that out, I would say one, two, three, four to the right, one, two up. Now notice I'm lined up with an X value of four and a Y value of two. That's why it's the point four, two. Graph the point five, three on the coordinate plane. Well, I'm gonna follow that same idea. Remember that first value, five, tells me where to go on the x-axis or to the right here. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five to the right. That second value, that y-coordinate of three, tells me to go three up, one, two, three. So notice I'm straight or directly above the five on the x-axis, and I'm directly across from three on the y-axis. So five, three. Graph the point two, zero on the coordinate plane. Okay, well that two is telling me to go two to the right. Notice I land on two on my X axis. And then zero is telling me to go zero up or down. So I'm gonna stay right there. That would be the point two, zero. Graph the point zero, three on the coordinate plane. Okay, well zero left or right means I'm gonna stay right in the center on this axis. And then that three is telling me to go up, one, two, three. So notice I'm directly above zero on the X axis, that's right in the center, and I'm on three on the Y axis, zero, three. Graph the point zero, zero on the coordinate plane. Well, zero, zero is our starting point. That's where the X and Y axis cross, where we start counting from. So if I go to my starting point and I go zero right or left and zero up or down, that point right there is zero, zero. Graph the point three, zero on the coordinate plane. Okay, well, this is telling me to go three to the right and zero up. So from my starting point, one, two, three to the right, right, that lands me on three on my X, and then zero up or down means I'm gonna stay there. Graph the point two, one on the coordinate plane. So notice all of these points that we're graphing, the left or right number always comes first. So two is telling me to go two to the right, and that up or down number always comes second. So one is telling me to go one up, so two, one, right directly above two on the x-axis, directly across from one on the y. Graph the point one, two on the coordinate plane. Well, that's telling me to go one to the right and two up, right directly above one, directly across from two for the point one, two. Graph the point zero, five on the coordinate plane. Well, zero right or left is telling me to stay right in the center, and then I would go one, two, three, four, five up. So notice I'm right above zero on the X, and I'm right at five on the Y for zero, five. Graph the point five, two on the coordinate plane. Okay, well that five is telling me to go five to the right. One, two, three, four, five, and two is telling me to go two up, one, two. 
So I'm right above five on the x-axis and right across two on the y. Five, two.